Thank you for checking out Classic Cadillac of Atlanta's Q Tutorials. Today I'm going to go over the steering wheel for the Q system. I'm going to do an overview and show you each, what each button does and the functionality of each, uh, each feature on the steering wheel. We're going to start with the voice command. It's in the top left corner here. When you press it, you can use it for various things such as making calls, adjusting the, the uh, radio, uh, or using the navigation even. You're going to press it, and when you press it, you always want to wait for the beep before you start speaking. So I'll give, do an example here. I'm going to tune a radio station. Play FM 95.5. 94.5 FM. So by, by saying play... The radio station, or the channel, then the radio station, the voice command worked and sent it to uh, the right radio station. As you can see it's on 94.5. Alright, moving down. This is going to be the hang up button when you're on the phone with Bluetooth connected and you want to hang up the phone. This is going to be your button you press. Here in the middle, this bar here, this is the cruise control. This is going to turn it on and you're going to know it's on because of the white circle there. So off, on, and this is going to turn it off. So to set it, see the set down here, then resume up here. You're going to press down to set it, then to accelerate, you're just going to press up. And you'll feel that there's two set, there's two different up settings. The first one's going to move you up one mile per hour. The second one's going to move you up five miles per hour at a time. Likewise, with going down. Up top here, this is your uh, for your adaptive cruise control. This is the collision alert. It's going to pace how far you are, the uh, how far it's going to alert you. So you can actually lower this, but we're going to keep it on the farthest distance because that's the safest. So we'll leave that on the farthest. This button here is for your heated steering wheel, so you know it's on with the light there. Moving over to the right side, this is for your audio. This is going to turn the radio up. And this is going to change from your favorites, based on your favorites. So you'll see that as I press these buttons here, it's going to move the station over here. So if you have your favorite station set up, you can move through them through there. And then we'll turn the audio down. This is your selection bar for your dash display. You press over, or you can press left, right, up, down, and also in. In is going to be for selecting, making selections. So you'll see that whenever whatever box has the red outlined in it, it's going to be the one you're going to be using. So for trip here, we can scroll through the different different pages. You see how I'm pressing down and it's scrolling through. I can press over to the left and light up this box over here in red. I can scroll through that as well. Okay. Then in the middle, how that's lit up, I can scroll through and see my speedometer. You can see your navigation, your audio. Get closer here. Your phone. There's a phone connected. As well as settings for the car. I'm going to show you how to make a, a audio selection with the steering wheel. You get the audio and you press select and you press that in towards the steering wheel and you'll see that'll go up to media, radio and media. So I'm going to select again. It's going to select, then I'm going to select XM, pressing select. Now I'm on the XM preview. So that's how you can change the radio with the steering wheel is by using the select button here. That's been a quick overview of the steering wheel, the different features of the steering wheel, and how to use the different buttons across the steering wheel. For more information, you can find us online at www.classiccadillac.com, or you can call our Q helpline at 844-Q-TECH. That's 844-283-8324. We look forward to hearing from you.